hello everyone welcome back my name is sumit and i welcome all of you to bispeedtrainings.com in this video i will be going to demonstrate you how to set up a service scheduling in dynamic crm so first of all let's understand what do you mean by service scheduling this is a feature which is provided by dynamic crm to efficient way to schedule people resources facilities and equipment in order to provide services to the customers so with the help of service scheduling we can pro we can give services to our customers or to our users it is more helpful for some industries such as healthcare than others just imagine that the healthcare industry they are using this dynamic crm as an application and uh, whenever a patient visited a hospital and an operation need to be done and a uh, ward is need to be allocated to that patient so with the help of service scheduling we can set up or we can schedule a service that which doctor will be going to do the surgery or will be going to handle that patient which bed or which ward will be allocated to that assigned to that patient and if there is operation is required so which operation theater if there are two operation theater so we need to book means uh, the the hospital so the doctors they need to apply for they need to book the operation theater for that particular patient on that specific date and time because they have got limited resources so they want to they would I mean they would have to use the resources or manage the resources with the help of service scheduling the service scheduler enables you to set up rules that will help you schedule service more efficiently so this is basically to set up rules and all of us all of the users they have to follow those rules and it, and also we have got a resource group now this resource group is a collection of resources this collection of resources people which are treated as pools and once the service activity is scheduled it appears on the service calendar so we have a service calendar also in service scheduling and uh, the service activity will be listed on the service service calendar and uh, by using the service calendar they will, the services will be assigned while uh, looking at the calendar the, uh, they can assign the services if they want if they require the services on that particular that in, on a purchase on a specific date or time so we by with the help of service calendar we can look for the equipments or for the facilities or the resources if they are available on that particular day we can assign that those resources or the facilities or equipments to the users so that is about service scheduling let's see that how we can set up a service scheduling in dynamic crm or how to set up a service scheduling in dynamic crm so this is the same dynamic crm interface and to set up a service scheduling we need to get to settings and within settings you need to click on business management in business management click on facilities and equipments first of all we need to set up the facilities and equipment so let's suppose uh, we have got a training room and uh, i would like to means we have we are in on, we are in online trainings online as well as offline trainings and uh, because it's an association so i'm not able to delete this this is an association so i'll set up a new training means i'll set up a new resource so we have got means we are in online and offline training and in offline training uh, in in offline training we need to book a training room so if we want to book a training room or uh, if you want to allocate a training room for a particular batch for a specific duration first of all we should have those resources so the all the various resources which are required for our training we will be going to assign will be going to add here so first of all i add training room big site on which site and on which business units so let's say we have got two sites two one is headquarter one is on another site so i want to get a means i want to book, uh, i want to assign a, uh, apply a resource for a training room on this particular site primary email time zone and a description so i'll specify here training room for 40 people so this training room is for 40 people i'll save and close it 
so you can see training room big also I can add few more resources let's say projector and on the same site projector big projector wall mounted and save and close and we have a training material as well so training study material training teaching material and it's on the same site and save and close so we have got various resources and now we can use this resources so these are the resources so basically as you can see here we have got the these are various options of service scheduling like resources it consists of people location or equipments needed for a specific service then we have got a resource group so resources which we which we said just now the so resources are individual resources and then we can have a group of resources so that we can set by using resource group basically resource group is a collection of groups singular items or can consist of group of resources so we can have a resource group so to set up a resource group we again get to the business management and in business management we have resource group resource group add new groups and new members to existing group for service scheduling update group information and delete groups or group members so I click on resource group and in this group I will be going to create a new resource group with collection of resources or the equipments which we have added just now so I set up a new resource group training or let's say dynamic CRM training and click on save and when I click on save the resource option will highlight it and then we can add the resources so I can click on resource and we can add the resources into this resource group. so I add resources and I look for the resources so obviously we will have users as well the trainer if we have means we need to specify trainer as well so we can have trainer or I'll go to facilities and equipment and we we need a big training room projector and training teaching material so I select them and add them so it becomes a collection it, it becomes a group so this should be called as a resource group so this is a resource group we can have multiple resource group right then after this we have working hours working hours means the if we are applying for any resource for example if I would like to book a training room so that training room is available what time so if that training room is available or if that user is available at that specific time or not for example I would like to book I uh, mean I would like to assign a task to a trainer that you need to conduct a training for this particular trainer on such and such date so before assigning a task or before assigning a training to that trainer I need to check the working hours for that trainer what are the working hours for the, of the trainer and whether that trainer is uh, available that dura at, at, du at that duration or not so for this we need to set the working hours so in order to set the working hours I click to settings security and click on users and in users I'll set the working hours of that user so, I, so right now there is only one user so I'm the only user so I click on my name and on this user and uh, when I click here we can see the working hours work hours so by by clicking on work hours we can set the working hours of this for this user so as you can see the working hours I have already set for 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. if I would like to change it I click on setup and new weekly schedule so this weekly schedule will start from tomorrow on from, from today onwards okay so I click on so or if you want to specify for a time off or work schedule for one day so this basically it's a weekly schedule and this schedule is for a specific date only for one day so I click on new weekly schedule and I can specify a new weekly schedule that uh, are working on the same day or even on months on working on all day and uh, it, it will be starting on this specific date and business close set work hours so I, we can set the work hours from here so I'll set the work hours that the work hours start from let's say from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And to add breaks, so we can have the break here, 8, 1, 20, 1, 45 to 15 p.m. And work hours from 2.15 to 8 p.m. So that's the working hours. And when you click on OK, so working hours will set. And uh, we can click on Save and Close. And the working hours of this particular user are being, has been set here. You can see that's the weekly schedule. So this is how we can set the working hours for a user. So 
just now we set the working hours for our trainer and also we can set the available timings for this training as well training room as well so for example uh, i would like to set the working hours for this or the available timings for this particular training room big so i click on training room big which we created in the facilities and equipment and here you can see we have got working hours so i click on working hours and within our working hours i can set that this this training room will be available uh, on weekly schedule this will be available on in all time but the working hours for this will be only from 8 am to 4 pm so this room will be available only that duration uh, if you want to set the if you want to conduct a training in that room you need to finish your training before 4 pm after that it will not be available to anyone and save it so like this we can set the working hours for this training room and also if i would if i would like to add some holidays for example this is in September and on October 2nd, there's a holiday for on, on October 2nd. So I select October 2nd here and then I click on working hours. Sorry. I click on setup and time off. And why time off? I need to specify the region why the time off. So I specify here. And it's a one day, it's an all day event. So that so this training room will not be available on Friday because it's uh, it is not available on that day. So this is how we can set the working hours for our trainer as well as to our resources as well. Then we have the services. So it's service that you offer to your client and they required one or more resources. So we have set the resources. We have set the resource group. We have set the working hours or for the trainer as well as the training rooms or the facilities and equipment. Now we'll be going to set the services which is required by the users. So I click on service and then I click on services here in under service click on services and we can set up a new service. So let me delete the existing one. So I delete this and delete this. Okay, it's an association because it is associated with, uh, with someone. That's why we can't delete it. Anyway, let's create a new resource. So I click on new resource here and I click here dynamic. CRM training and initial reason it is reserved or in progress or arrived or requested so I'll say requested I'll mark it as a requested duration is default duration scheduling is for default duration is for one hour or for two hours or for five hours so I'll say this is for hours for eight hours a day and start activity every one day and begin at 8 a.m. in the morning and also we need to add the resources into it so you can see what are the resources required for this particular service so the resources which are required for this service we can add by going into this required resources so by going by clicking on required resources I can add the resources here so I click on add resource and the resources so for this I need a training so I click on facilities and equipment so I need a training room I need a projector training learning teaching material and and also a user is also associated this is the, this will be the trainer so I click on add and save the selection as a resource no so don't say don't need to save the selection so these are the resources which are required for this service which will be going to provide to our user and simple save and close so it is all by default it is activated by default the service is activated now once the service has been we have we are looking for the service so we can set the service here or we can set the service by going into service calendar by setting up service calendar so to set up service calendar we can go to service and we have option here for service calendar what is a service calendar the service calendar is separate from the C, from other CRM calendars this is where all the scheduled service activities appear so the service activity which we which we said just now you can see that particular service over here as well and also uh, we have we can have the different view like we have the month view or the week view or day view so when we click on month view we can see the services so or we can set a schedule or we can add a service activity from here create a new service activity okay so as you can see here uh, if i would like to add a service activity so i click on service activity and we can add it from here so we need I write here dynamic CRM 
training for batch 4001 service on which site on dynamic crm training sorry the service and the site is this one customer who are the customers so i can choose the customers from the account or from the contact as well so we let's say i click on contact and i add all the contacts so they are my clients i'm going to pro i'm going to provide services to them the resources the resource group we can add it a resource or a resource group the facilities or equipment so I, I will be going to use the training room big projector training teaching material at them and also time as requested start time what will be the start time so it will be going to start from the 1st of october and it will be end on let's say start from 5th of october so it's a one week schedule and it will be end on 10th of october so all day event so it's a six it's a six day event and click on save and you can see it's saying that the training room big is being scheduled outside their work hours because we are trying for means we are it's a we are trying to book this training room big for more than uh, the the working hours and more resources than required by the service have been specified so if you want to book the training room if you want means obviously we can go we can customize it or for right now i simply click on ignore and save and it will be it will be scheduled it will be allocated to us allocated to me and the details regarding for what category sub category and once it is done i simply save and close it so now once you refresh it if you click on month and if you again click on month we can see the training which we scheduled just now the activity which we add just now we can it should be on next calendar so so as you can see here the training room means the the training has been scheduled for the from october 5 to october 10 and once let's suppose the training has been finished so after the training is completed i'll click select it and i'll click its complete its completion so i click open it double click on it and i'll mark it as a complete that it has been the training has been completed successfully or if you want to close the service activity we can close the service activity from here so if i mark it complete so the training will be it will marked as a complete it means the training has been done successfully so and when we refresh it we will see the updated in updated data so this is how we can set up a service scheduling in dynamic crm that's all in this video if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bsptrainings.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more video on the dynamic crm you can contact to us for a customized training on dynamic crm I will be coming up with some new videos in Dynamic CRM. Till then, have a nice day ahead. Goodbye. Have a nice day.